Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is leveling new accusations against Iran, a country he sees as Israel's biggest threat. He believes the country is behind repeated cyber attacks during the 50-day conflict with Hamas this summer. As CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg reports, Israel has launched what it says is a counteroffensive. An Air Force for cyberspace. That's how Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has described the latest addition to his defense arsenal a new cyber authority that will tackle a growingly dangerous battlefield of viruses and malware. Its focus isn't traditional, quote, security interests, but rather safeguarding civilians. Devices now talk to each other. We bring our mobiles to work. Our smart TVs can communicate. This world is becoming smaller and smaller and more computerized. And as such, it is more vulnerable. So even if you are not a government agency or a large company, you can still be targeted. The move is controversial and considered unprecedented in that it wrestled control of cyber warfare strategy from military and counterintelligence agencies into the arms of a civilian body under the prime minister and not the defense minister. Some fear the new authority will lack the proper intelligence gathering skills to prevent attacks which could, they say, destabilize the country. If someone successfully changes the details on an internet site or steals information from a database or penetrates a municipality's computers and reprograms traffic signals or a hospital's distribution of medicines or the chemical added to drinking water, the damage can be physical and significant. In announcing the new authority, Netanyahu specifically spoke of Iran, which he accused of backing millions of cyber attacks on Israeli sites. Israel itself has also been accused of hacking Iranian sites in the past, notably the Stuxnet worm in 2009 and 10, which temporarily wreaked havoc on Iran's nuclear facilities. Israel has denied any involvement. The new authority isn't supposed to initiate attacks, but rather focus on defense. It could be that one day that this defense will turn into a more active approach. Let's call it a defensive attack. And that could permanently change the way war is played out in this region. Experts say that the threshold for participation is much lower in cyber warfare than in, say, nuclear warfare. Netanyahu has dubbed this authority a new force in a new world, and his security cabinet has 60 days to agree. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV, in Tel Aviv.